what's going on guys welcome back to the one and only terabyte reacts channel let me tell y'all something okay i know for this past few years since season eight <laughs> concluded i have ranted on many occasions about how disappointed i was with the ending of the game of thrones even gotten to the point that game of thrones went from my number one TV show of all times to now sitting out of my top 10. Well, I've watched a lot of great TV shows since Game of Thrones has ended, so a lot of those have pushed it out of its spot. But we are here with a prequel, House of the Dragon. And I heard, I've already heard some good things that they're doing this correct well they have source material now so they can't mess it up <laughs> right um but anyways we're not i'm not gonna waste any more time because i'm so excited to watch this um as i said man game of thrones has been since i watched it on the channel took it off the channel because of um copyright um it was the best thing that helped me grow in the beginning of my youtube career if you will doing reactions and i was wilding out with them videos <laughs> not even gonna lie. i was wilding out with them uploads man and hbo hit me with a couple of strikes on the channel man and it was never the same after that so um i know people are gonna be asking where are your game of thrones reactions they're nowhere to be found i never saved those reactions um i was in a panic to make sure i didn't get that third strike to get my youtube channel deleted so and i did not save my reactions back then i wasn't saving reactions now my reactions are saved um i started doing that because i was like you know what if push comes to shove anything can happen so this is how this is going to work. Let me go through the, 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 the nature of it right here. This show is going on right now. I don't know if I want to do full reactions available for everybody um, during this. I don't know because HBO be wild. <laughs> they don't care, bro. And if they find out you're doing stuff, they might come after you. So this is what I'm going to do okay i am going to be providing a link where you guys can go and watch my full reaction as well the link is going to be down in the description if you guys want to check it out um i'm going to be trying to edit these videos to get them up for you guys i don't know how quickly i can get them done because this is a new show um i don't know i don't know if i can because i know the episodes are airing on sundays so i don't know if i can react to them on sundays because i don't know i think the episode drops i don't know i think the episode drops at like 10 in the night for me so <laughs> i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna work that because reacting to that on sunday nights is gonna it's going to be something it's going to be something based on the schedule that i already have for my reaction so it's gonna be tough but i'm gonna see what i can do and i'll go from there but either way, I'm going to be reacting to Game of Thrones every week. And I'm going to try to get those episodes out for y'all. My reactions to the episode as best as I possibly can. I'm learning. I'm still learning. Even after all these years, I've been <laughs> still learning how to, how, to, how to get around all this stuff. Right? So, in any case, without no further ado... You already know. Let's jump into some Game of Thrones House of the Dragon. Let's jump into it. And I will see you guys right after for the review. See what As the, the first audio. century of the Targaryen dynasty came to a close, the health of the old king, Jaehaerys, was failing. Okay. King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly 60 years of peace and prosperity, but tragedy had claimed both his sons, leaving his succession in doubt. The old king called a great council to choose an heir, but only two were truly considered. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. 
the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. It is declared by all the lords paramount and lords vassal of the Seven Kingdoms that Prince Viserys Targaryen be made Prince of Dragonstone. Okay. The Harris called the Great Council to prevent a war being fought over his succession. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon. Was themselves? Did <laughs> 72 years before Daenerys. Okay. Alright, here we go. Dragons. You know they had to bring it back, right? <laughs> One way or the other, they had to. Just making too much money to let go of it, you know? Try not to look too relieved, sir. I am relieved. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled, it saves my head from a spike. Cyrax is growing quickly. It should soon be as large as Corexes. That's almost large enough to settle, too. I believe I'm quite content as a spectator. Thank you. Renera. Well, here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the babe. Someone has to attend you. You will lie in this bed soon enough, Renera. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. The childbed is our battlefield. We must learn to face it with a stiff lip. Now take a bath, you stink of dragon. Shall we discuss the heir's tournament, Your Grace? Perhaps we might delay until the child is in hand. Take the better part of a week. Before the games are over, my son will be born. And the whole realm will celebrate. There's a boy in the queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand-wringing to rest himself. He passed through the Red Keep's gates at first light. Does my father know his head? No. Get. Sparrow to Rivo se gauma ke bus. Your worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. Only worry for my mother, but for my father that he gets a son. As long as I can recall, it's all he's wanted. You want him to have a son? I want to fly with you on Dragonback. He's only cake. I'm being serious. I'm never just about cake. You aren't worried about your position. I like this position. It's quite comfortable. Where are you going? Home. The hour has grown late. Just Nymeria led her Roynar across the narrow sea on 10,000 ships to flee their Valyrian pursuers to show her people that they were finished running. What are you doing? Do you remember? If the scepter sees this book, then the scepter. Rhaenyra! <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Here's a succession situation. It has grown slightly, Your Grace. God! Can you say yet what it is? We've sent Ew. to the Citadel. They are searching the text for similar cases. Bad humors of the mind can adversely affect the body. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. Cauterization would be a wise course of treatment, Your Grace. It will be painful. Fine. Fine. It's a miracle. Y'all that old having kids. <laughs> That's the miracle. That's the true miracle right there. In the cradle, a two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir. And I'm sorry if I have failed you in that I am. And she's been through it. Now, you're a pack of hounds. Hounds. Home for the hunt. Oh. Crime of every breed has been allowed to thrive. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. <laughs> Damn. They're just taking dudes out of their homes and just beating them. <laughs> uh, there it goes. Rape. No. 
Oh! Bruh. I don't understand. How do they know this? How do they know any of this? Criminals of every ilk. Your brother made a public show of it. Carry on. You were saying something about my impunity. You are to explain your doings with the City Watch. The City Watch is not a sword to be wielded at your whim. They're an extension of the Crown. The Watch was enforcing the Crown's laws. Wouldn't you agree, Lord Strong? Making a that. public spectacle of wanton brutality is hardly in line with our laws. Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. Time will tell. Oh, you got jokes. <laughs> law and order. My bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife, a good and honorable lady of the Vale. I can assure you, the sheep are prettier. Tell me. Sheesh. You made a vow before the Seven to honor your wife in marriage. I'd gladly give Lady Rhea to you, Lord Hightower, if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed. Perhaps you aren't ready to move on just yet. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. He's rude. Slapping niggas. <laughs> this council has, at great expense, bettered the city watch to your exacting standards. Force my laws, but understand, any further performances like last night's will be answered. Understood, Your Grace. Man, can you imagine if this dude was king? Jesus. In the end. This new city watch might be a good thing. Queen Emma has begun her labors. May the luck of the seven shine upon all combatants. I don't remember if it was season one. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. <laughs> good fortune to you, cousin. I would gladly take it. I thought I needed it. You could have the Rathian's tongue for that. Tongues will not change the successor. Let them wag. That was a Baratheon? Okay. Ash. Of House Targaryen, Prince of the City will now choose his first opponent. She gets super excited about her uncle, huh? <laughs> this man really does not like this dude, bruh. He does not like it. He don't like the hand of the king, bruh. Suppose he kills him, like, on purpose. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh boy, got skills. Hold on, is that how you... That's not against the rules? Bruh, he could have broken his neck just now, man. Now that's insane. I don't know, I don't know how this game, or what's allowed or what's not allowed. Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it. <laughs> Good luck, my prince. Is it his daughter? I don't know what the relation is. I don't, I don't know who any of these people are. Because I haven't read the books. What's happening? The infant is in breach, Your Grace. All attempts to turn the babe have failed. Oh, no. Do something for her. We've given her as much milk of the poppy as we can without risking the child. That is Emma. literally the worst thing that can happen, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Wow, dude. Okay. I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Hmm. With wanton violence. His nights are as green as summer grass. None have known real war. Sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. And we expect them to act with honor and grace. It's a marvel that war didn't break out at first blood. 
Jeez, there's kids here. Yo, what is going on? Why is people just start killing each other? <laughs> and nobody's saying anything. It's just like, okay, I guess this is allowed. Fights can just break out in the middle of joust. <laughs> Yeah. There is a chance that we can save the child. A technique is taught at the Citadel, which involves cutting directly into the wound to free the infant. So he's gonna have to choose, but you can save the child. We must either act now or leave it with the gods. You know what he's gonna choose is because he's been waiting on a son forever. This dude is not gonna. He's not gonna choose the woman. <laughs> Over the kid, no. This is insane. People can just lo you can just start a fight. And just be like, I don't like this decision. Damn. We're going to bring the baby out now. And I hope to God they're not about to show this. <laughs> Cause you know they be they be wilding in Game of Thrones on HBO, bruh. What is Bruh, they're not about to show this right now. Bruh, for real? Bruh, I'm not watching this. There's no way they're gonna show this on screen, bruh. HBO, y'all. <laughs> I, I still want to see, but I don't. Oh my god, this! Really? Did I get up? Damon lost. Really, bro? Chill. Being a sore loser at this point. Like, come on, Damon. This man, really gonna kill this man's son, bro. God, they really out here showing this, bruh. Ch HBO, chill. Bruh, we really gonna see them. T Are you serious right now? <laughs> mm, that's a lot of blood. Man, <laughs> that's brutal, bruh. I hoping to ask for the princess's favor. I wish you luck, Sir Krista. Princess? Oh, that was Kristen. Oh, he wasn't even there to see his son beat Damon. You have a son. It's a boy. A new heir, your grace. Amen. Have you and the queen chosen a name? Balon. Balon. I think I've heard Balon before. I've heard that name before. I don't know if it's one of the history videos I watched or something, but I've definitely heard the name Balon before. The hell is that? Did the baby die? They're waiting for you. Yo, the brother died. He died. The kid. All you do to bury your toilet, Johan lies. She has to give the order to burn to burn them Dracarys. damn not even a dragon wants to do it that 
that's crazy. He lost even though they went through it, he still losses it both of them. That's crazy, dude. It's like a curse, man. But despite how difficult this time is, Your Grace, I feel it's important the succession be firmly in place for the stability of the realm. The succession is already set. Shall we say his name? Damon Targaryen. If Damon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realms. The city watches fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. Putting Damon in command of the City Watch was your solution. A half measure, Your Grace. The truth is, Damon should be far away from this court. Damon is my brother, and he will have his place at my court. But if the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident. What are you saying? My brother would murder me, take my crown. Damon has ambition, yes, but not for the throne. He lacks the patience. Yeah, right. The gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, Your Grace. Who else would have a claim? His daughter. You dumb bozo. <laughs> he has a daughter. The king's firstborn child. Renew. Yeah. A girl. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. That is only by tradition and precedent, Lord Before Strong. Damon would be a second Magor, or worse. He is impulsive and violent. It is the duty of this council to protect the king and the realm from him. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. You wouldn't have to, Your Grace. There are others who would have a claim. <laughs> Such as your wife, Lord Corliss. Moments ago, you announced your support for David. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we my expect a ransom? My wife and son are dead! I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses. Straight up. I don't even know why this is being discussed right now. Why it needs to be done right now. You know what I'm saying? Silence! Before we begin, Your Grace, I have a report I feel compelled to share. Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk to entertain officers of the city watch. And... King and council have long ruled my position as next in line to the throne. But <laughs> My guy over here just paused and giving them back shots. <laughs> like, I gotta stop to listen to this. God's gift speech. <laughs> take away. I want to bust a nut right now. <laughs> the king's son. The heir for a day. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, Your Grace. My family has just been destroyed. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise! Spit of facts right no now. You have no court but me! I have only ever defended you! You've only ever tried to send me away to the Vale, to the City Watch, anywhere but by your side. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. Oh, so you're looking for you're a little bit of nepotism? Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. Unwavering and loyal hand. A cunt. <laughs> he went son, there. He to inherit nothing he doesn't seize for himself. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. You're weak, Viserys. That's a dope sword, though. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. Not anymore. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel. By order of your king. Nigga, you better not step. That king's guard don't play. Your grace. Well. Kind of just created an enemy right there because... I don't know why y'all got all these swords. His dragon? Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before.
before the doom. Oh. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? What? Answer me. What do you see? I suppose I see us. Tell me. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men, but they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. And the true. Yeah, so immune to fire. <laughs> there are power men should never have trifled with. If we don't mind our own histories, it will do the same to us. True. The Targaryen must understand this to be king or queen. I have wasted the years since you were born. One thing for a son. You are the very best of your mother. Did she end up becoming queen? And I believe it. I don't know. Did, that you could be a great ruling queen. Damon is your heir. Damon was not made to wear the crown. But I believe that you were. This is no trivial gesture, remember? Dragon Saddle is one thing. But the Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. Aegon foresaw the end of the world of men. Uh, just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. Aegon saw absolute darkness riding on those winds, and whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. When this great winter comes, Rhaenyra, all of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. This secret been passed from king to heir since Egon's time. Now you must promise to carry it and protect it. Promise me to throw it Promise me. I, Viserys Targaryen, first of his name, lord of the seven kingdoms and protector of the realm, do hereby name Rhaenyra Targaryen. Princess of Dragonstone and heir to the Iron Throne. All right, so let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, let's talk about it for a little bit. So, um, you know, essentially, I don't know because I don't remember exactly. I know I watched a few videos after I finished watching Game of Thrones. I reacted to them um, as well of some of this history. So some of them I do. Some of it I do remember some of it. Father the bloodline comes down from the Targaryen. So this is like, you know, the stuff that they talked about. It's basically what we're watching. The stuff that, you know, like the Baratheons and stuff like that. Like Robert, that king talked about you know how they the history of how the targaryens came in after they left freaking whatever <laughs> i don't remember the name of the place but that place got completely demolished um don't remember why as i said i as we go along certain things are going to come back to me but for the most part i i um i don't remember a lot of the stuff so because I'm because I'm talking about like uh, when it, when did season eight come out? I don't even I don't even remember what was it 2018 to I, I don't know season eight <laughs> when was season eight? I know it wasn't I, I think it was like 2000 2019 maybe if I'm not mistaken was it? I know it wasn't I know it was before the pandemic. So I think it was 2019, somewhere along there. If I might be wrong, you guys can let me know in the comment section. But for the most part, um, you know, one of the things that I love about Game of Thrones and the reason why this show that I have no doubt that this is going to be this prequel here is going to be a hit because this game it, it not only do, do they always do a great job of bringing good writers to the show to actually translate the stuff from the books to the show i've never read the books and i feel like i've read the books that's how thorough they are when it comes on to when they have source material you get what i'm saying we all saw the disaster okay we all 
saw it all the game of thrones fans we all saw it you know some people were really cool with it i i was like uh whatever you know what i'm saying like some people were in the very minority of what season eight was but i have to say this and the reason why i have to say this when it comes on to this show um i have to say one thing is like i don't think that Rhaenyra ends up on the Iron Throne because I don't remember if there was ever a woman queen woman queen what am I saying woman queen I don't remember if there was ever a queen in the history of I don't know maybe this is just a battle um I don't remember Damon's name either um so it's like this history is it's good that I don't know because we're watching the show now and it's going to tell us all about it. So it's good that I don't remember any of this stuff because I did do a few videos that explain a lot of this history of the stuff that went down. I think it's in the first book or something like that. Um, so this is going to be real, a real interesting ride for me, at least. And I, I really like the fact that they decided to do this. Um, and, and it's good to see the dynamics as well. Um, dude seem like who was the all right. So the nearest dad was the mad king. So I'm wondering who's uh, You know what I'm saying? Like I'm wondering is um, What was his name was it? I don't remember Daenerys his dad the, uh, we, we know that he's the mad king But who was his father? You know what I'm saying? Like who was his father? Where is his line coming from from these characters that we see here? um i don't know i don't remember but at the very least you know there was a lot of reference they talked about you know i mean the night's watch the whole the winter is coming situation and it's a secret that's been passed down from king the heir for all this time and all of this stuff because of a dream that Aegon had um so that's pretty cool i hope the thing about it is this right you're going back into history and this is where a lot of the fact a lot of stuff is going to get confusing for people who ends up watching this and then watching game of thrones a lot of people is going to that is getting into it and be like oh you know what i'll watch the prequel and then i'll go watch game of thrones when they get to season eight and realize that none of this stuff that we're talking about right now pays off they're going to be real disappointed, <laughs> just like we are, um, you know, if you care about writing that way. Um, the brilliance of, you know, what I'm saying Jar George R.R. R. Martin should not have been diminished that like that. I feel like if even today, as I am sitting here right now, if they have said we're going to wait until George put out that book so we can have source material to do it. I think Game of Thrones fans would have waited to see what the conclusion could possibly be because what they did was complete and utter garbage, but we're not here to talk about that, right? So the way I'm seeing this is one episode, it's a prequel. They established a lot. I'm not even going to cap. They established a lot in this one episode. You got to know some characters, what they're about. You know what I'm saying? Essentially, Damon is going to be the antagonist. And he's, you know what I'm saying? You, he, you know what I'm saying? He kind of operates in the gray a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you kind of like him, but also don't like him. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, there's this arrogance about him there's just this arrogance about his character that you're like okay i guess we're you know uh we, we we could kick it you know what i'm saying even though i know he's like that you know what i'm saying we could still kick it like that's how i feel about his character it's like it seems like a cool dude to, to hang out with but at the same time he's a very arrogant dude but also you gotta also understand um i, I guess arrogant arrogant is the wrong word it's not arrogant. It's more of like when it's more of like his, his nature is kind of it's it's not you know he 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 goes to the extreme for certain things. You get what I'm saying? Like he'll go out of his way 
to cause problems and it kind of reminds me of certain characters and shows where it's just like you just make trouble to be noticed because you know what i'm saying because your brother is king you know what i'm saying you might have felt like you i mean his brother was the el well his brother was not the eldest the queen is their sister she was the eldest but she got passed over because she's a woman right so the eldest son took the reins um and he's he, and he did a pretty good job like i'm not i'm not even gonna cap like i like him as king you know um i don't know if he's gonna end up dying in the prequel or whatever the situation is so um but somebody has to succeed um the throne you know somebody has to rise to the occasion um nonetheless and i'm here for it you know what i'm saying i'm looking forward to seeing what more they're gonna do with this show I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? To actually, um, you know, kind of refresh our memories as well. Um, but this is all new territory, even though we know what happens in Game of Thrones, the show, and this is like a hundred and what, 65 years, they said, before Daenerys Targaryen. So it's like, it, this is going to be real interesting, man. Um, and the writing is top notch. One of the things that I enjoy the most about watching anything Game of Thrones is just the, the language, the language, the dialogue is always so intriguing to me. Um, it, it, it's just great. And they're also speaking a lot of, um, what they call it, what they call it again, old Valerian, uh, something like that. They, they call it, it's, it's like an old tongue like a dragon tongue, I guess. I don't know, but it's, 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 it's interesting because it's literally a made up language. If I'm not wrong, right? If I'm, if, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Cause I'm pretty sure it's a made up language that they're speaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I remember correctly, I think it was, um, but let me know. I could be wrong because I said it's been a long time. I'm trying to remember some of the stuff that I do know versus the stuff that I don't know. But um, but this was a very interesting watch, man. I'm looking forward to see more. Of course, I'm going to try to get these episodes as er out as early as possible. I don't know. I think it I think it comes out. I think I don't know. I don't know because I didn't check for this until like Monday. So I don't know what time the episodes drop on HBO Max. I don't know. I, I, I really don't. I don't. Um, so I'm going to check that out to see when it drops so I can react to it um, and maybe get this video out to you guys by Tuesday because I don't know if I'll be able to do it and get it out by Monday um, because I have so many other reactions that I have to do and stuff like that. So we'll see how things go. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, go and check out the other stuff on the channel, man. We are watching a bunch of stuff over on Patreon as well. That is not on YouTube currency. Make sure you go check that out. Links are down in the description. If you enjoy my reaction, man, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment and I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace. <gasps>